good morning. It is Tuesday the 19th of July and welcome to another vlog. Thanks for watching. Um, currently just working on a, the Vespa website. Um, we've just put it on their server and we're just going to just make sure everything's all good. So I'll show you that in a few minutes. All right, so here is the Vespa website. Feel free to have a look at it yourself. It's www.vespa.com.au. This is the Australian Vespa website. There it is there. So it looks pretty good. We're just testing that everything's working. We've just moved it onto their server. So got some pretty cool banners happening here and stuff like that. But the thing with the website is the original design I did, I liked 10 times better than this. And so did the people from Vespa. Um, but they actually had to get approval from Vespa International, which is the one that looks from Italy and all that stuff. So they sent it to them and they said, oh, we really want it to look more like our website. And their website was very bland and boring. So unfortunately we had to go with this. It still looks good, but it's not what we originally had planned. What we originally had planned was really like modern. It looked really cool. So this is still nice and it's what they want. It's what they wanted at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, so feel free to check it out. Let me know what you think. There might be still some little bugs on the site as we're working our way through, but I'm pretty sure we got most of them all sorted, so that's really good. Um, yeah, so take a look, let me know what you think. It's vespa.com.au, and uh, I'd love to buy a Vespa. It would be so cool just to hoon around. I don't know how cool it would be where I live, maybe if I lived in the city or something or whatever, but yeah, I reckon it'd be cool. All right, so I'm just working on some of the Vespa video once again now. If you watched yesterday's vlog, I explained why it it was fully edited, fully finished. They loved it, but now they decided to change the song, which means it needs to be re-edited because it was edited to the song. sneak peek of the video it'll probably change because of the song from what you just saw but I will share the final with you and also share the behind the scenes when I get that up um, I think now I'm gonna do the quick review slash story on my bike <laughs> All right, so this is the bike here. It is a Willia GDR, which just means Gran Turismo. First, I'm gonna tell you a little story about the bike and then I'll do a quick review. Uh, I started off with a mountain bike and was riding for a while and I really, really wanted a road bike. So I was looking at one to buy. And then um, my friend Wayne, who you all, most of you know. You know how much your fans love you? You don't understand. Um, he actually won a bike which was awesome. So he won the bike, but he couldn't get his size. So he could only get, I think it was extra large or large. And I'm quite tall and he's very short. So he said, do you want the bike? And I said, oh, that'd be awesome. But I'm, you know, I'm happy to pay you for it. Or he's like, no, no, just, just take it. Promise me you'll ride it. So he gave me the bike. Um, that was an Azuri Forza Pro DI2. And DI2 basically means you have electronic shifting, which is really cool. Um, so the bike was awesome. I had it for a while and then the, frame was a little bit was always a little bit too big for me but you know because I got it for nothing um, I dealt with it for a while but to, to pay Wayne back I did buy him a set or two sets of really expensive mountain biking lights so I was like you know it's the least I could do he could have just sold the bike and made I think they were worth about three three and a half thousand dollars at the time maybe a bit less maybe a bit more I can't exactly remember um, yeah so he gave me that bike I rode it for a while decided after some time that, and a few adjustments that the frame was just a bit too big so I thought seeing as I got the bike for free I'll go and buy a really nice frame something I really like and I'll just move the parts onto it because I love the electronic shifting that stuff isn't cheap to buy so bought this frame and chucked all the parts on it and here we are today so let me just give you a quick rundown of what's on it in my little review all right so here's the frame full carbon fiber frame and fork and uh, I love the colour scheme, I think it looks awesome. Don't mind the rear wheel and tyre, that's just what I use on the trainer. That's what I usually have on the back as well, this one here. Vredestein tyre. And um, what else can I say? So it's got Altegra, full Altegra DI2 group set. DI2 just means it's electronic, as you'll see now. So it's very, very cool. Um, oh, Kimba, seriously. 
So yeah, it's full Altegra, front derailleur, rear derailleur, cassette, um, front uh, the chain ring, and there's the DR2 junction box right here. And then it breaks the shifters and hoods and all that, all Altegra. So, um, don't know what else I can say. I've got an SLK Willie a stem there. SLK, this, this was off the old bike. And so all this stuff was off the old bike, pretty much everything except for the frame and the bars which I purchased when I got when I built up the frame and I think that's about it so so in terms of a review I'm really 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 happy with the, the bike and the frame in general like it's awesome the DR2 is really cool I remember when I had my mountain bike it was cable like cable shifters I thought you know I'd never want electronic it's just something else that can go wrong kind of thing but to be honest nothing's ever gone wrong with the electronic and I don't think I could ever go back to cable because um, on the mountain bike, I was always shifting, I uh, sorry, I was always adjusting cables and having to lube them up and all that kind of stuff. There's so much more maintenance. I know electronic, you know, something can just go wrong or your battery can die, but it's very rare and the battery lasts ages. Um, I haven't charged this for about six months. I haven't ridden a lot, but I think someone said they get about 1200 kilometers out of a charge. So it's ages and doesn't take long to charge. So with this bike, the battery is actually in the seat post here. Um, the older versions, they used to sit sit up here on the tube or down below, but this one sits in the seat post. Kimba, seriously, look at this. <laughs> it's so annoying. Kimba, out, come on. So yeah, um, this is my saddle, which is the Sally SMP in Avant. I used to have the SMP Dynamic, but it was a bit too narrow for me, so I went with the Avant. I'm really, really happy with the bike. I love it. It's pretty light it's very stiff I think the Azuri was lighter but it wasn't as stiff this just when you pedal you just feel the momentum of the bike just push forward it's, it's awesome so I love it I'd highly recommend the frame and all and the DI2 the Altegra I'd recommend pretty much everything I have here right now I've just got my flat pedals on and the reason for that is because the last time I rode my bike was for, I think I said in a few vlogs ago, it was for an event where there were a lot of people. I didn't really feel comfortable being clipped in around a lot of people. So I think I might actually leave the flats on. And see, the truth of the matter is, when I first got into cycling, I enjoyed it a lot more because I'd just jump on and go. Then I started getting a little bit too competitive with myself and started buying all the gear. And just, I started to enjoy it less and less because I had the clipless pedals and it was just to go for a simple ride. It was a whole ordeal of getting, chucking all the clothes on, you know, the Lycra, the shoes, everything. And it just got, I enjoyed it, but it was like, oh, I feel like going out today, but it's going to take, you know, I've got some work to do. By the time I head out, it's going to be like half an hour getting ready and all that stuff. So kind of took the fun out of it. So I'm thinking of just leaving the flats on just so I can jump on it and go when I want and just even just wear normal clothes. Like that's what I really want to do. I know, I know it's an awesome bike and it's really made for not a pro, but like someone who's really into it. And I am, it's just, I enjoyed when it was a lot of fun and I kind of lost the fun when I got too competitive and started getting into all the gear. So I'd like to get back to the point where I really enjoy it and I don't need to put on all the gear or clip into my pedals and yeah, to be honest, the pedals freak me out a little bit. I've had a lot of close calls, and um, if I was racing or something, or in good conditions, I'd wear them, but it's just, there's too many factors that are uncertain. Like on the road, cars pull out all the time. I've had little kids ride straight across, and I've just locked up the brakes and had to try and bail out. And luckily, I haven't fallen off yet, but I've been really close. So, yeah, I think I'll just keep the flats on for now, and um, just enjoy it for what it is. It's a great thing. You get to see the world, you get fit, you feel great and yeah it's awesome so that's my review i love the bike love the gear that's on it and uh yeah hope everyone enjoyed thank you and now for a review on kimba <laughs> she's naughty i would not buy one again i'm joking hello little girl i'm joking she's absolutely beautiful look at her her fur's growing back slowly i think i said in quite a few vlogs that she has to have constant baths and she's on a lot of medication because um, she loses her fur around her face but it is growing back really slowly as you can probably see so that's awesome but she's a happy dog and that's all that matters okay <laughs> and so if anyone out there is looking for a way to get fit or just get healthy 
Definitely get into cycling or buy a bike, mountain bike, road bike, doesn't matter. Found it to be really awesome for losing weight. I'm not lean now because I haven't ridden for ages or properly and I haven't been eating very well, but when I was riding, I was shredding the weight. I was feeling really awesome. And you just get to see the world from a different perspective. So definitely get into it if you're looking for something to get into. I wouldn't recommend anything more than cycling. Running's good, but it's not it's not good for your joints and things like that. If I run, I get really, really sore. Cycling's pretty low impact and you can do it really at any age. So yeah. All right guys, so I know it is unusual for me to end a vlog this early. It's still daytime, but it's gone for quite a while, I've realized, because of the bike review and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is end the vlog right here. I am heading to Katie's tonight, but we're not doing really anything exciting, just having dinner and usual stuff. But if anything exciting does happen there, I'll film it and I'll use that for tomorrow's vlog. But we'll see what happens with that. So once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.